I don't normally film inside, I don't normally work with lights or props or scripts or continuity or any, anything like that. What I normally do is I film action shots and my sound design is putting those action, action shots to a song that I like. But for my entry into the road reel I wanted to do something different and to challenge myself and learn some new techniques. And with that comes a whole big long list of things that I got right and wrong and the lucky breaks that I had along the, along the way. So yeah, from the top, here's what went right and wrong during this edit. Picked a dark filming location when I don't own that many video lights. Picked a location that has no power to run the TV that is an integral part to many of the shots in this edit. Got my girlfriend to green screen out the TV instead. Completely underestimated the challenges involved with green screening um, an unevenly let green screen with a moving camera. Watched two hours of green screening tutorials on YouTube and fixed it. Thank you to everyone that makes tutorials on YouTube. Came up with a brilliant idea on how to get the water to flow in a certain direction for these shots. But it didn't work. Now we have to pull it all up again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the floor is the floor is still wet from attempt one. And <laughs> there's no power here. And yeah, we're going to have to be a little bit creative with this next attempt. We'll see. We're trying. We'll see. <laughs> And then we tried nine times over two days to get the shot that we wanted with the water flowing. Didn't come together here. And then we tried it out there and it didn't work. And then we tried it here, which was Maria's suggestion, and then it worked perfectly. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I realized that I had filmed in the wrong direction, but I flipped it in post and it looks all right. So sort of winning there. I used an old filmmaking switcheroo technique here and I was on the inside of a shot pretending to be the junkie or whatever and I had my girlfriend wearing my shirt opening the door for me so that I didn't have to mask it out with two shots and I was pretty happy with how that came out. I don't think you can tell too badly in the main edit that our hands are different sizes and all that stuff and it works pretty well. Didn't have a microphone for the news presenter to use in the, in the interview shot so I used the little Rode video mic off my camera as a prop and uh, I don't I don't know whether anyone spotted that watching it, but I was pretty happy with that solution. It means we didn't have to go out and get a microphone because we were running short on time to get this edit done in time. And I think that's about everything to be honest, though I do have to be truthful about one thing and that is working as a grave digger for the, for the Facilli family was one of the best jobs I ever had and I'm so grateful for them and looking after a broke English kid when he was out in America. And big shout out to everyone that's helped me out along the way, much love and I'll catch you guys on the water. I don't know. We got it after those hundred times, yeah. But actually, I have to say, I like using a camera from now on. <laughs>